So now we're on to the third technique. Because I've cleaned that out a little bit better, but never mind. Uh, this is the third technique. And again, I've done some preparation, or a lot of preparation in this case, because like the stars, I've outlined, then painted this design. And again, I've done it on a pocket folder from a lever arch file. Hopefully if I take this out, you can see my design. There it is. And once again, this should peel off nicely. But this time, rather than lots of little bits, it should all peel off in one go. That's probably the famous last words, but let's give it a bash. And once again, if it does break, don't worry too much. You will be able to stick it back together when you put it down on the jar. But this is coming off absolutely fine. Turn it upside down. So now I'm just going to wrap it onto the jar. I have got a line there, thankfully. Whether I can keep that line so it is roughly right when we get round there we go now if it does overlap like that you can cut down there and get it to lay in nicely or your alternative solution if it's not enough is to put a little bit more paint in there but actually I don't think that's bad and we've got two dragons on there. I may just cut this end down so it doesn't overlap quite so much on the finished item. And there we are, almost a perfect finish. So it's a very, once you've done the preparation work for this one, it actually doesn't take too long at all. Now the fourth and final technique for the water-based paints is very much like the first, apart from this time, rather than brushing it on, we're going to stipple it on using a bit of sponge. Now this will give a sort of semi-frosted look. Don't try and get a good covering in one go. It won't, it's not going to happen. You want to build the color up slowly once again. So don't worry, you're not getting a nice cover in one go. And again, do leave it to dry in between colors. Don't even have to do the same amount of colour in the same places, but I will show you more to do with that in a bit. But at the moment, I'm just going to give it a nice good covering all over with blue. And then we'll go on to another colour. I'm going to use these three colours, blue, red and yellow, but because they're transparent colours and because I'm going to put one colour on top of other colours, it's going to give me a huge range of colours on the finished item, hopefully. So 
So that's a very thin cover to start with and we will wait for that to dry and then add another layer and then another and then another. So, as you can see, I've finished doing my layers of paint on this jar. Looks rather nice. Um, looks better <laughs> at night when it will be a light. Um, I am going to add some final decoration to it. Now, if you notice one of the earlier jars, I stuck some glass beads on. I'm not going to do it this time, but I am going to use some outliner. And this is the same outliner as I used in earlier projects, just the gold version. In fact, it's not exactly the same outliner because this is a homemade one. A little bit messy to work with because it's in the jar. What you've just seen me doing is making a piping bag to put it in. Let me move that out of the way. Yet again, if you haven't made a piping bag before and you need to, you don't need to use it if you're using outliner out of a tube, etc. or a bottle. But if you want to use a piping bag, we do have a video showing you exactly how to do that. So I'm just putting some outliner in here. Roll up the piping bag. So it's nice and tight. A little bit escaping from the end there, but only a tiny amount. What I want to do is try and make sure there's no air in there. And now I need to get my scissors and just cut the end off that. So just cut the end off to the size want the line, a little, little practice there. A little bit thicker I think. Always best to start taking less off. Take a bit more if you need to. You obviously can always take more off. You can't put it back on again. I'm going for one more final cut. Just like a little bit thicker. This outliner looks a little wishy washy, but it does dry to a nice gold colour. I'm just going to follow that around. There we are, we shall let that dry and then perhaps do a little bit more. Then we can see what it's like when it's lit up at night. <laughs> 